Hey Capricorn, it's Star. It's finally time for your whole story reading for August 2020. My apologies for the delay. All right, let's get started here. I'm just going to start shuffling here for you. For those of you who are new, thank you so much for visiting my channel. The whole story reading is where I go through the entire deck, including a clarifying deck. Um, sometimes we get just a kind of a mishmash of messages. Sometimes it's a very a deeper um, narrative of one particular uh, storyline. So this may or may not resonate with you. It is a general reading. So please keep that in mind. Sometimes some of the messages will resonate. So, you know, just take whatever, whatever floats your boat. Okay, let's see here. Capricorn, August 2020, Capricorn. are all doing well. Let's see what you have going on for August. Oh wow, okay, so we're starting off the Ace of Wands in the universe. New beginning, ending, new beginning, start of a new cycle. I feel as though you're leaving um, something behind. Um, something that made you happy for a long time. You invested a lot of time and energy into this. This was um, a structure in your life. It could have been a long-term relationship. You could have been, uh, some of you are leaving um, a past partner. May have been like a toxic connection, codependency here. Yeah, I do feel somebody here is not over at this yet. Either it's you, you're still healing from this um, ending, or the other person is, but someone is still hurting. They're having a hard time now. I'm getting, I'm getting all nasally. I'm sorry. Um, I'm seeing here that uh, these changes are very overwhelming to someone. There's, there's separation. There's, um, could have been a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. It took a toll. Yeah. There's definitely a breakup. Is what I'm seeing here. Quite possibly a marriage. If not, then it was a long-term committed relationship. Yeah, so somebody made a choice um, to go with their freedom. They wanted to be free or they wanted to start a brand new relationship. Uh, that's very much possible, especially here. Look, we have the King and the Queen of Cups together. So it feels as though for some of you, someone broke up a relationship here with someone who they, they've been with for a long time because they feel that they have found their soulmate in someone else. Yeah. So there was like a lack of happiness. Um, that's for some of you. For others of you, you just wanted to be single or the other person did. The other Somebody wanted their freedom. Interesting. So see, under that Queen and King of Cups, we have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just feeling in order for this soulmate relationship to be, there had to be a painful ending. Someone had to get hurt. get all the cards out. Okay. So yes, there, there's definitely um, a lot going on is what I'm seeing. A lot of uh, turbulence, a lot of change happening. 
and someone still, like I said, is is sad over this, but still, the, whatever action is being taken, it, it, it's a go. Um, it's just that there may have been a third party situation happening here. I do feel like there was one relationship that was long standing, and there was another relationship um, that was going on, you know, behind the scenes. Um, yeah, definitely. So two threes here together as well. So I feel as though, so if this is you, Capricorn, which you very well may be, or this may have happened to you, okay, so you could be the one healing from this. Someone may have, like, unexpectedly come uh, uh, to tell you that they are in love with someone else, or if this was you, then you've been in love with someone else and you were just waiting for the right time to end this other relationship. Yeah, because I'm seeing that uh, it, it, it was not a happy relationship for quite some time. But at the same time, you, you felt like you weren't ready to let this go. Right, okay. So, let me see here. I'm almost feeling as though... I feel like Capricorn is the one that's hurting so it may have been that your partner left. Yeah, there was definitely competition, like, um, so if this information came out, you know, may have come out through, maybe you had an argument with your partner and they just kind of said it, you know what, I'm in love with somebody else. Uh, but they've been holding this for, for quite a while. I feel like this, this may have been um, like an ex for some of them. And they just wanted their freedom. They wanted to get out of this third party situation. They wanted to be with the person who they feel is their soulmate. And so a choice was made with regards to the marriage that it's time. It's time to move on. Picking up here the male energy. There was just, uh, let me see. Okay, so I don't, I don't want to say the male energy. I'm, I'm just seeing here that it's as though, um, okay, so someone knew that this was going to happen eventually, and they were just taking their sweet time because it's a difficult situation. It's something hard to, to have to face here. So they were trying to work up the courage to finally do it and, and to just move forward um, and let go of this uh, connection of this relationship. I feel it was you, Capricorn, who was hurt. Yeah. So someone had a choice between two people and they, they've been carrying this with them for a long time this heavy burden and they just wanted to be released they didn't want to have to sneak around anymore they didn't want to have to live uh, with this secret with this lie that they were in love with someone else and so they just decided to do it and, and you know get the healing started yeah because they knew that they were going to disappoint someone with this action that was going to be taken so somebody wanted to manifest a new love relationship yeah, okay, so even though they were with another person, so they may have been with you, Capricorn, but they felt lonely because they were missing this other person. Um, you could have been dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, it's like um, this other person was their wish fulfillment. It was their, uh, th their soulmate. They feel like this is their soulmate and they had to do this. Okay, so take it however it resonates, whichever side of the coin you're on here. But I kind of feel in most cases it's Capricorn that, that was hurt in this situation. So your partner may have um, been with somebody else and they feel that that's the person who they're meant to be with. And so they just kind of sprung this on you out of nowhere. Or it seems like out of nowhere, but it really wasn't. This was 
a, a, a secret. It's been a secret for quite a while. They were holding on to this, and it had become quite a burden to them to have to live with this lie. Secret is out, or it will be out in this this month. Um, huh. Let me see if I don't want to say anything yet. I, I I just felt for some reason I got this message, and obviously it's not going to be for all of you, but I'm I'm kind of getting that. Uh, one of the reasons why the secret had to come out now is because the other person, um, someone got pregnant. So someone may be expecting. I feel there's going to be arguments here with regards to some decisions being made. Um, could be in the legal sense. Uh, so this could be, you know, definitely involving like divorce or something like that. Maybe division of assets as well. But I'm feeling here somebody not happy with uh, the approach that is being taken. Oops. There seems to be a need for time. A need to uh, perhaps reevaluate to make better decisions. I feel like there's a lot of confusion because, like I said, this came out of nowhere. Um, let's see here. Yeah. So, so somebody's definitely leaving. We have the Eight of Cups with the Death card. I feel like they're done. They, they don't want to hold back. They've been restricting themselves, holding back on their feelings and their emotions and their true desires, and they don't want to do that anymore. Yeah, see, there's been a lot of sneaking around the sun in reverse with the Seven of Swords, and that's what they want to walk away from. They want to have this new beginning, but now they have to face the ending of this relationship that, see again, we have the page, the page here twice, Page of Cups twice, with the Six of Cups, they, they could actually, there, there could be like a proposal here for the other person. I feel like um, someone here wants to be fair uh, in this, as fair as they can be, right? But fair in the sense that um, if there is a divorce or something, they want everything, like the division of assets to be um, fair and equitable. They keep getting that division of assets. But I feel as though there's going to be disagreements about that. Okay, so there's a lot of confusion. I feel like this person thinks that they can just come and tell you, oh, by the way, I'm in love with someone else and I'm moving out and, and you're just going to be like, okay, but there's actually a lot that needs to be dealt with. And I don't think they thought it through quite um, enough. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of confusion. This is not just, uh, you know, they, they, they can't just pick up their shit and go. There's going to be stuff to deal with here. And that's, you see, so that's where the conflict starts, is when all those questions, all those details need to be answered, and I'm just throwing examples out there. So who's going to get the house? Who's going to get the kids? Who's going to get the car? Who, you know, when all of that starts to have to be a topic of discussion, that's when things kind of fall apart. And this person may actually rethink, you know, did I actually do the right thing? Should I have just kept quiet and kept things the way that they are? Because this is going to bring disappointment one way or one way or the other. Yeah. 
because now you see now there's going to be like a, um, a struggle for power okay so if you're the one that's being left Capricorn then it's almost as though you feel like you're owed something because of the heartbreak that you've had to go through here um, the humiliation you, you know what I mean the sadness that that goes along with this and all the deceit and this other person doesn't quite see it that way so yeah so there's there's very ruthless decisions happening and I almost feel as though like I said if it's you being left you feel like you want more than 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 what this other person would consider your share and you are willing to fight for it for some of you even i feel as though you you you're wanting to fight for the relationship to get back together and this person is gun-ho about leaving and starting fresh with somebody else. I'm getting here someone's wanting to create obstacles, challenges. That's their way of fighting back, so whether that's you or them. But there's definitely like fighting back here. Yeah, so the way that, that, and this could possibly be you, the way that you're dealing with healing from this is by just acting, kind of taking on that ruthless um, demeanor, which I mean, totally understandable. Um, because it's like you don't want to you don't want to feel you don't want to care anymore you just want to heal from this I, I'm, I'm still getting like humiliation somebody felt humiliated by this and they just want to move on you just want to move on from this you just want to start anew but you're not going to do it like you're not you don't you already feel like you've incurred a loss you're not going to lose anymore you're going to fight and make sure that you get what you feel you deserve yeah, and I feel I just feel like things are going to get really ugly when it comes to that, to a fight about money um, specifically. So this is going to take a while um, for these decisions, like these final decisions to, to, to be completed or decided upon, possibly in court. And um, yeah, it's going to take a while. I feel like uh, th this was not expected. Someone didn't think that this would take so long. feel as though there's still secrets that um, <clears throat> there's something somebody's still trying to keep a secret they don't want it to be revealed okay so I, I'm getting this is about money again a very very um, repetitive theme here so something about money some, somebody's either keeping money a secret um, I feel Capricorn like you may even be hiring like a forensic CPA or uh, you know looking into somebody's um, secret account your well your, your your partner's secret accounts or they're doing this to you but I'm, I'm getting here like not so fast we're gonna we're gonna do this the right way I'm gonna get what I deserve no matter what needs to be done because again I feel this energy of ruthlessness somebody becomes ruthless hard and cold um, because of the pain that they've been through so I just want to say because I, I read uh, I took the comments off of the videos because they were causing me some problems uh, with a, a bot or whatever um, but somebody commented on the past video on they used another video where, where I had comments open to comment on that one and it just I'm okay if you guys, you know, feel like you want to say you didn't agree. It's not that I don't care if people don't agree or whatever, but it, 
I, I just want people to understand if if this is not your story <laughs> I mean do people realize how they sound sometimes because it, it was like an Aquarius video and this lady went on and on about how brutal the, the video was and that Aquariuses are just not like that they don't do that to people I guess I guess I was saying that somebody cheated or whatever no Aquarius on earth ever cheated on someone right okay it just makes you seem like somehow I struck a chord in you okay so you seem even more guilty because it, it, it just boggles my mind if something if I listen to a tarot reading and it just does not sound like my life I for one have a life. I'm not going to go and comment and say, well, you're totally wrong because Taurus, I'm a Taurus, so Taurus is never do, come on, get over yourself, lady, please. Sorry. <laughs> I just had to say that. Anyway, so some, yeah, okay, see? Seven of Swords with the Magician, not the greatest of combinations. This is somebody who is very sneaky. They're sneaking around. They are manipulating a situation. And then here we have the hermit looking toward the sneaky person. That's why I'm saying there, there's some type of forensic uh, feeling like someone is going to be hiring a forensic CPA to look into to make sure that there's nothing, no hidden accounts, no hidden money. Um, but I feel like there is. I feel like there's something that's still trying to be hidden here. And I feel it's trying to be hidden from you. And you are trying to find the truth, Capricorn. Because you're not going to get screwed in this divorce or this breakup here again. Mm -mm. You've been screwed enough. So you are not going to allow this to happen. But look at that. We end up with the High Priestess in reverse. So whatever is hidden is coming to light. Yeah, see? Hangman in reverse. There's going to be some sort of investigation on what is hidden to find out what this is. What is this? Knight of Swords in reverse with that Magician card. So there's definitely a liar in the mist. I mean, I guess we knew that, right? If this person is a cheater, then of course they're a liar as well. Um, five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there. You, you need to get some counsel. The Hermit can be like a lawyer. Um, a CPA, somebody with uh, higher knowledge who will be able to help you so that you can um, deal with this this battle that you're going through. Okay, I see you. It may take some time, Capricorn, but I see you being okay financially. You're, you are going to be able to be um, financially independent. Uh, you're not going to be dependent upon this other person who is leaving your life. Uh, but there's definitely something that is bothering you here that you want to know the truth about. Yeah, it's about the breakup. That this is like a divorce. Four of Wands with the lovers in reverse. Uh, with the Three of Cups there, there's another person, obviously we said that, who was uh, involved. And karma will be dealt. We have, we have the Justice card here. So there will be, um, I'm, I'm getting here, legal proceedings. Karma is going to be dealt. Uh, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So with the high priestess so again i feel like there's a hidden money that you are going to be finding out about um or something that this other person has been trying to concoct some kind of plan that you're gonna you're gonna find out about it so heads up there is something that they're sneaking additionally aside from the third party situation which you probably already know about um there's something more that they're trying to hide from you and it's it's definitely related to money assets things of that nature so i hope that this reading was helpful for you capricorn and wish you the best and i'll see you guys soon bye bye